finding the distance between a pawn and a plane. Suppose this is a pawn B and this is a horizontal plane. And now we are going to find the distance of this pawn from this plane. So the first step is we have to assume there is some light which is shining perpendicular to the plane we are in concern. So the direction of the light will be like this from the top to the bottom. And then this point P will produce a shadow right here. So this is a shadow. Or in mathematics, we call this a projection. Actually, the meaning is just like a shadow. The projection of point P on the plane. So this will be a vertical distance. And in fact, if you draw any line on the plane, this will always be a right angle because this is a vertical line. The light is shining directly from the top to the bottom. And this is a horizontal plane. Similarly, if you draw another line like this, this angle will always be a right angle. So actually, this perpendicular distance will be the distance of the point P from the plane. Now let's look at a very simple model. So this is point P and we have a light shining from the top to the bottom. So the light source will produce a shadow. So let's assume this is the shadow and we call this in mathematics the projection of the point P on this white plane. And if this is the projection, then the distance between point P and this plane, so this is a horizontal plane, will be this length of the toothpick. And if we draw any line on the plane, this angle, the angle between this horizontal line and this toothpick will always be a right angle. And again, if we draw some other lines, these angles will always make a right angle with the toothpick. So that means this is the perpendicular distance of point P from the horizontal plane.